Hello Virgo. This is a reading again for a large audience. So although when I pray and prepare, I do ask that each of you receives at least one message. So let's go ahead and get started. I've prayed over and shuffled the cards. We are going to pull from three Doreen Virtue decks, her Archangel Power Tarot, Archangel Michael, and the Romance Angels. And then we're going to also pull from the Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. And when I was shuffling, these two cards actually fell out, so you guys are going to get a bonus. Oh, this is great! So, the first card you have, this is really, it, it's Ten of Ariel. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So I get that for a number of you. I mean, you really just have it all right now. I mean, things are going so well. Love, job, family. I mean, you really truly have come into your happily ever after, dreams coming true. So what they're wanting you to know is just stay in a place of gratitude. Be, be thankful for everything that you have and you'll just continue to watch more blessings come your way and, and more financial abundance to continue to flow in and happiness. Um, and to not worry, because I, I do get a sense that some of you, uh, some of you are kind of almost like sitting in a state of like, okay, this is too good to be true. When is something bad going to happen? When's this, when's the other shoe going to fall? It's not, and, and, and to not have those negative thoughts because you don't want to track that to yourself. It's to trust that, no, this, this, this greatness, this happily ever after, this joy, this is yours to keep, to enjoy. Be thankful for it. Be thankful for all the blessings that have come your way because I get for a number of you, you've worked hard and, and you're deserving of that. Enjoy it. The next card we have, um, it's a major arcana, it's solutions, and if you can read the bottom, it says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. My eyes are drawn to, he, he's pouring liquid, if you can see, he's pouring, pouring liquid from one cup to the other. Um, I get almost a sensation that a number of you, you feel like the, the the cup's half empty, you're looking at the negativity. I get that things are heated emotionally, very turbulent, almost like in, that you're in like the fire, you're in the, in the pan, the heat's really turned up because of a difficult situation. I get for some of you, it's, it's, it's a very difficult situation at work. For some of you, I get it's a situation at home with your spouse. For some of you, I get that it, it, it's a conflict with an ex, maybe trying to um, make some decisions on shared parenting, child care, but it, it, but it's like there's a line drawn in the sand. No one is coming to agreement. No one is compromising. Um, it's just causing further stress for you, irritation, and it's just making it harder. And, and they're showing me that, that, you know, you've just really got your heels dug in. It's going to be my way or no way. But what they're encouraging you to do is to come to a compromise because if you continue to dig your heels in the sand on this situation, you could wind up losing and you don't want to do that. So if you, if you compromise, if you just take a deep breath, let the stress go, pray, have patience, consider their, their viewpoints, consider their ideas because, because reconciling those, uh, those differing opinions and coming to a compromise is, is going to lead to the best outcome possible for all parties. So, Go at it with a, a forgiving, open, appreciative view. Um, be fair, be balanced so that you can come to a compromise because they'll help you with that and then things will be able to move forward at work because I get it's almost like it, for those of you that this is a work situation, it's like you've put all of your emotions and effort and sh you're just super stressed about this, you know, conflict at work that you, you're not being effective, you're dreading going to work. Um, I'm getting that by, by compromising, coming to solution, all that stress will lift and, and you'll enjoy your job again. And for those of you that this is a conflict with your, with your spouse, with your ex, trying to decide things on kids, childcare, shared parenting, I get that it's big decisions that you're trying to make. By coming to a, a compromise, a solution that works for both of you, you're going to be able to get out of that stressful place and it'll be best for everyone and then you'll be able to uh, 
move forward and get and get to a, a place that's happier. And, and for those of you that involves kids, the kids are feeling the stress of this as well. So the sooner that you can come to a solution, the better it's going to be for them as well because they're feeling it and seeing it as well. Even if um, I get for some of you that you're, you're trying to hide it, you think that you're hiding it, but the kids know. So it's in the best interest for everyone to, uh, to, to not dig your heels in and to take a deep breath, be considerate, be fair, come to a compromise. And, and the, the angels and God will help you with that. Just, just pray and be open to their help and, and be open to any intuitive guidance that you're receiving as well as any outside of the box um, solutions that they that they send your way. Next card we have is, this is your life's purpose. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose, and I ask that you help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So, well, I'm getting for a number of you, you know, you've been praying for some of you, you know, you, you ventured out and you've started your own business, but you know, the financial abundance isn't flowing in as quickly as you thought. There's more hiccups and headaches and, and stressors and, and you're just really doubting. Did I, did I make the right decision? You know, should I continue moving forward or should I just gather up what I have and, and leave? But this is, this is to let you know that this is validation that you made the right choice continue to move forward confidently. They are helping you. They are watching over your business, your finances. Continue to pray and ask for their help and, and continue to open up and allow that to happen by not worrying, not thinking negatively. Let the negative, the stressful thoughts go um, and it will be successful. And for some of you, I, I get that, you know, you've been contemplating a, a career change for a while, but you've really been hesitant because it's like totally different than anything you've ever done. And you're, you're really afraid it'll be a failure. And, you know, what if I'm not good at this? What if I'm not successful? What if I can't get, you know, a, a company to pay me adequately for this? They're wanting, you know, you, you keep getting those repeated thoughts and indicators and nudges and signs because that is what you've, what you were born to do. And when you think about it, you know, you feel that excitement, that joy, that's more validation for you that, that that's the path you're supposed to go down. So they're, they're, they're encouraging you to move forward confidently toward that, to not keep yourself stuck in a job that doesn't really make you happy and really doesn't have the financial abundance you seek and you could get when you make the change because that is where your soul is calling you and there is a reason. So they're encouraging you to trust that. Um, to not doubt it because it is it is your purpose and it will be it will bring you not only the happiness but the financial abundance that you seek as well so the row that we have down here is related to romance first card we have is past life relationships if you can read it, it says you have known each other before so I guess some of you, you, you've got this new love interest, this new person that you've met, and you just feel this intense connection, like you feel so comfortable with them, like you've, you've always known them, it, it defies logic, it, it makes no sense, and, and it's, and you're doubting it, you're, you're beginning to think, okay, if I made this up in my mind, because this really can't be real, I mean, someone can't have that much, you know, chemistry and magnetism and, and draw towards someone. So you're doubting it. So this is to let you know and validate that those feelings are real, that it's a, it's a soulmate connection. You do have a past lives together. That is why you feel that connection. Um, be, because it's a soulmate. You already, you do know them. So to not doubt it, to trust and, and be open to that love. Um, because I get some of you, you, you so, you're so doubting it that you're blocking it. You're, you're blocking the soulmate relationship, this connection, because it just defies logic so much that you just think, oh, there's no way, this is not possible. And, and you're shutting them out and you're blocking yourself to this love that has been brought into your life, the answers to your prayers. Um, and with soulmate connections, you're gonna feel that. You'll feel that instant chemistry, that draw, that undeniable connection, the comfort. And, and I get that you feel all of that but it's, it's surreal. You just, you just cannot grasp it. You cannot believe it. They're encouraging you to believe it, to trust, because that is a soulmate of yours. For some of you, I get you're going to meet that person. Some of you, I get that you already have met and you're in that stage right now of doubting. I get some of you will meet that person and you're going to go through the same thing of doubting, but they're saying to trust. It is a soulmate of yours. The connection is real. 
Next card we have is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, this is truly straight up signaling that you will be getting engaged. So congratulations. And for some of you, I get for some of you, this is just, you know, reassurance that you are going to have love coming into your life because you, I get that you've been single for a really long time. Some of you are really starting to doubt and wonder, you know, is there something wrong with me? Um, why can't I meet someone? What, you know, I get some of you are like questioning yourself, what's wrong with me? There, there's nothing wrong with you. You're amazing just how you are. It's a divine timing. For some of you, I get that you're not ready yet. For some of you, I get there needs to be some healing. For some of you, I get in part of the healing is loving yourself first so that you're open to loving someone else. But this is to let you know it is going to happen. It's just not time. That's all. Just not time. And to not worry about it, to not doubt it, because then you just block yourself. And this does have the, the second fold, the deeper meaning to, to committing to you. Um to focusing on you, the things that make you happy, to doing the things, to love yourself, to commit to what brings you joy, to what brings you bliss. And for some of you, I get that, that committing to yourself is, um, you've met someone, but there, there's a lot of red flags, and you're so excited that you finally have met someone that you're not setting any boundaries because you, you, know, you don't want to scare them away. But for some of you, you may be very well getting those red flags because that's not the right person for you and you need to let them go. And for some of you, you know, you're getting the red flags, but you need to set your boundaries and they'll stop doing those things. You know, people will do what we allow them to do. So if you are allowing them to treat you in a way that does not feel you, make you feel honored and respected and valued and appreciated and loved, then this is the month for you to set boundaries with them of what you will and what you will not accept. And I get for a number of you, when you set those boundaries, they will respect you more. Commit to yourself because they will respect you more and they will start treating you the way that you desire. You're not going to push them away. I get for some of you, you're so afraid to set the boundaries because you know, you finally got this person that you've been praying for and longing for for so long, you don't want to push them away. But they're saying you have to commit to you because if you continue to allow the behavior, that person will lose all respect for you. And they're, they're going to leave, leave you in the end anyhow, because they, they won't respect you. Because if, if you don't value you, why would they value you? So start to commit to you, love you, set the boundaries with that person, and they will either rise to it or they won't which means it's just sooner that you find that out so you can get to the person that you are meant to be with. Mm -hmm. And these last two cards that fell out together, let's see here, we've got, <laughs> funny, well played, be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. And then love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all wonderful things that life has to offer. And, and I think both these cards are coming back and tying to the, to loving yourself, believing in yourself, because I get so many of you, you know, you're, you're doubting yourself. Um, you, you don't feel lovable. You don't feel worthy. And for some of you, that's why you're not setting boundaries. Um, with that person, that new love interest. And, and for some of you, I get that that's why you don't have love coming into your life at this time yet, because you have to first love yourself, love you 100% before love's going to come in. And so I get for some of you, you know, you keep praying and asking for this love of your life. Um, then you keep meeting these people who, who don't treat you well and, and they're not good relationships. And you just keep wondering, why do I keep getting the, the, these repeated patterns, these repeated people that just are not loving me? It's because you're not loving yourself. Because you, you, we, we magnetically attract what we are. So if, so if I don't love myself and, and I don't take care of myself and, and I don't do things that bring me joy and, and I'm always down on myself and, and internally making comments to myself that, you know, I, I don't look good, I'm overweight and I'm just not good at this and, um, 
I'm going to attract that. I'm going to continue to have partners that come into my life that don't love me, that don't appreciate me, that same negative things to me that, oh, that those pants make your booty look super huge, your muffin top spilling over, because they're just reflecting to me what I feel about me. But if you shift to a place of loving yourself, then you're going to, to draw in that loving partner that you desire. And for some of you that need to set those boundaries, it, it all hinges on loving you. Because I get for some of you, that that's that pattern that you're stuck in as well. And, and to be authentic to yourself, that, that is, again, not changing who you are for someone else. To truly showing, because I, I, I get, again, for some of you, you know, you've, you've met someone, you've got this new love interest, but you're really kind of afraid to show them who you are and what you really enjoy because you're afraid that's going to push them away. But you don't want to be with someone who's not really going to love the genuine you because you're going to have to wear this false mask forever. And you don't want to do that. You won't be happy doing that. You want someone who's going to love you who, for who you are. So for some of you, they're saying just trust because that person will love you even more. And especially for some of you that if it's a, if it's a past life soulmate connection, you have these similarities. They were drawn to you for a reason. But then if you're hiding these things about you because you're like, oh, well, they're not going to like that. Actually, you don't realize that they're actually going to love that about you. You're going to have to show that to keep them. And they can pick up on false things if, if they're a soulmate. So just be who you are. And, and if you are one of the few, because I do get there are a few that when you do show who you truly are, you're going to push that, that person will leave it. It's a small number, not many of you, small number, but that person's not meant for you anyhow. So be who you are. And if that means you lose that person, they aren't meant for you. That means you're just going to be in a place of loving yourself. And then that, that divine relationship that's really meant to be, that, that's what you're praying for and desiring, who's going to love you 100% exactly how you are, you're just opening up the space for them to come in. So don't be afraid to be you. So some good stuff for a number of you. So I do wish you an amazing month. Many thanks to all of you for subscribing to my channel. Um, thank you for all the comments. I love the comments, the feedback. Um, it's filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.